G'day watchers, welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Uh, today, following not so uh, long after my first uh, Turbion watch review, I'm featuring my second piece. This is also courtesy uh, of Waldorf, manufacturer Waldorf, a, a company which uh, you know has had some collaboration with the channel and I really enjoy uh, some of the pieces they have provided. Uh, and so they actually have provided a second Turbion piece for me to enjoy and review. Uh, so we'll get into that. Uh, now I, I particularly enjoy this watch uh, on some straps which I have just been provided from Artem Straps, Australian based company uh, and, and they have the aim of making the finest sail cloth strap in the world so we'll see whether they indeed uh, you know, meet that goal so watch out for this uh, in the review. So without further ado guys let's flip it around and take a closer look at the watch in here. Alright so here we have the box on the table Ward off Germany, you know, kind of this uh, logo plate on the top to give you the feeling of luxury, uh, real wood, okay, and, and you know, no kind of padding at the bottom. So let's have a look if it, it it does actually spin to some extent. So that's probably about a three out of five, I reckon. Okay, let's just open it. Uh, same box as the other, you know, Ward off watch that I. Uh, reviewed recently warranty card at the top there new manual here because this is a prototype uh, you know for review uh, in here we have a little bit of a, a compartment with a cleaning cloth multiple links which have been removed and then a tag right nothing else uh, too special uh, and here is the watch on the cushion and just going to put that aside and show you the watch in closer detail of course so guys what we have here is the manufacturer Waldorf Vanguard V8 Dark Slate. Uh, so the MSRP of this piece is uh, just over 1400 USD. All right, so it is fairly hefty, but look, it is a tourbillon piece. Uh, I have seen these uh, watches uh, on, you know, some degree of discount. I think I saw it for 20% off recently, and I'll put links to products down below if you're interested to check out uh, you know, kind of the actual official link as well as any other products that I can find. Okay, so it's going to open up uh, the bracelet here and let's move on to talking about the caliber here. So what we have in here, similar uh, movement to the other manufacturer Waldorf uh, Imperial that I reviewed is the Hangzhou 3450A coaxial tourbillon. So it stats down the left there, 28800 high beat speed here slightly less jewel count at 25 in comparison to the other uh, tourbillon movement from Hangzhou 80 hour reserve from uh, you know the double main spring so kind of like double the usual 40 hours it does not hack uh, but it does hand wind in the zero position here the accuracy rating I found on some catalogs is plus or minus 25 seconds per day uh, this one isn't actually performing to spec uh, and I can forgive that as this isn't really occur you know a production sample it is really a prototype that they've sent around for review uh, on the time grapher it's running at plus 50 seconds per day okay so that's the movement let's talk about the case here casework here uh, is pretty good quality it is a 42 millimeter diameter case uh, 11.8 millimeters is the thickness there and you can see that kind of numbered plate on the side there uh, lug width is 22 millimeters with a lug to lug distance between my thumbs of 48 millimeters. Uh, the adjusted weight with you know those five links that I removed is 145 grams. Uh, with all the links in, it's closer to 160 grams. So that's what it would weigh if you have a larger wrist than mine. Uh, finishing wise, so you have circular brushing on the bezel there. Uh, it transitions to vertical on the sides as well as the surface uh, between the lugs there. Uh, now the top surface of the lugs, including the bevel, is actually polished, uh, as is the bottom surface of the lugs uh, and most of that, uh, you know, the steel on that screw down case back. All right, so you have a screw down display case back. Uh, the crown is, uh, of course, signed in, in Manufacture Waldorf. It's just a push crown and it winds in the zero position here. Um, so the overall water rating is a token 
30 meters water resistant. Okay, so really just for accidental splashes, nothing more than that in this uh, turbion place. Right, let's move on to the dial now. So the dial here is uh, a skeletonized matte black. That's, that's what it is. Uh, it does have uh, uh, a ring around the side where the chapter ring, uh, I guess the minute markings are printed. And, and then the hour indices uh, intrude in, right? In those kind of teeth that intrude in from the side there. Uh, and of course, it's got that open tourbillon at the six o'clock position. That's the highlight or the, the centerpiece of this movement. Printed the details on the periphery. The hands here are partially skeletonized, you know, polished steel obelisk hands. They, they call it diamond cut. I, I guess the quality of the hands are pretty striking. They do reflect light pretty nicely. Of course, there's no second hand here. Uh, the loom is called Tritec. Now, I'm not sure whether it's absolute superluminova because Tritec does make superluminova, but they haven't use the word supernova. It's on all the hands and the, I guess, the visible uh, 11 indices that you can see here. It's not fantastic. It doesn't really glow through the night, but I, I guess it doesn't have to. Uh, loom shot right here, of course, to let you guys see how it looks like in the dark. Okay, so uh, on top of all that is a flat sapphire crystal with uh, anti-reflective coating. That's really what we're dealing with here. Uh, moving on to the bracelet then. The bracelet here is, uh, I guess there's quite a bit of work here. It is seven piece per link, alternating brush on the side and the middle link. And then in between we have polished finishing on the links there. I uh, got polished uh, finishing on the side there. Uh, looking at the ends, it's actually straight ends with a quick release bars. So hopefully that's pretty obvious to you guys, those quick release bars. Uh, looking at the, you know, the, the pins, uh, it is actually pins, it's not screws in this case, they haven't gone for screws, it's just push pins with a fairly standard butterfly deploying class here. Uh, the bracelet uh, I mentioned is 22 millimeter lug width here, it does taper down to 20 millimeters in the narrowest portion here. Okay, so that's the entire description uh, of the watch here. Uh, let's just snap it on quickly on the wrist for wrist shot. So there we have the Waldorf Vanguard V8 dark slate, meaning the, the dial color is the dark slate color on my 17 centimeter wrist. So remember uh, the lug dot distance 48 millimeters, 11.8 millimeter thick. And that's how it looks like with that bracelet on my wrist. Okay, so there we have it guys. Uh, now. What are my thoughts about this watch? Okay, so, you know, for the price, uh, I guess if you count the discounted price, you're looking at close to a thousand, just over a thousand dollars for a German assembled uh, piece with a reasonably reputable Chinese tourbillon movement in a quality case. You know, I think that's not bad, right? You can get cheaper Chinese tourbillons, but for this quality, probably not much cheaper, I would think. And certainly they've gone for a fairly unique design. I can respect that. Uh, I usually don't like skeleton dials. You guys probably know that, but somehow this skeleton patterns, uh, you know, works in the overall design that they've gone for with the hands, uh, you know, the color uh, way that they've gone. You know, I, I think it somehow works. I'm not sure it's difficult to describe why I feel that, but that, that's really my impression of this. Uh, and it's got a basic time display. So I've said this before, you know, just hour and minutes. So you might think that's a bit annoying, but it does help you relax. It kind of powers life down to a level of simplicity, which, you know, somehow just helps you forget, uh, you know, at least for me, helps me relax my OCD and wanting to always set the second hand exactly to my, you know, my phone or some sort of atomic signal. Now, the weaknesses, now, it is absolutely basic in its function, right? There's, there's no date here, there's no seconds, it's just hours and minutes. So if you want more complicated function, of course, this is not for you. Uh, I would say the loom is very basic, almost token. So if, if you want something that goes in the dark very long, again, this will not meet that function. Uh, the base bracelet, I think it's perhaps not the best pairing here, right? The straight ends, Push pins really leaves a little bit uh, to be desired. And at the full MSRP, I think that's difficult to forgive. Uh, and the value proposition, well, maybe you will still feel that this is fairly high for a small brand, but you know, on the discounted price, I think it seems fair. 
Uh, and I really uh, appreciate that Waldorf have no BS in their marketing. They don't kind of do any fancy wording. It's just straight up and down. And I really respect them for that. Okay, now in, in terms of how it compares with uh, the other Waldorf which I reviewed, you know, which is really uh, this Imperial Black here. Why have I not got the time running? Uh, just going to match that. So I, I think you know, this is a lot more expensive. This is over 2000 uh, In terms of how special the watches are, I like the leaf pattern on the skeleton here. I like the you know, the sapphire case, which is in a steel cage. So in terms of specialness, I think this is a little bit more special. But look, if you if you don't want to stretch for that, this is, I think, a reasonable alternative, particularly if you like, uh, I guess, a slightly more sporty design as opposed to the dress design uh, of the Imperial. Now, it, now I would say also, uh, my thoughts, my opinion is that I, I think this pairs better with a strap of some sort. And I do happen to have something which goes pretty well with it. So let me just put this down and uh, introduce you to what I have, uh, which is this, you know, Adelaide based Artem straps, which uh, they, uh, I guess their story, Artem story is that they wanted to make the best sailcloth strap available because they just couldn't find something that they were happy with. So they created their very own product. All right, so let's just, introduce that to you in a nice case, you know, it gives you the feeling of luxury. Some people don't like complicated packaging because it feels like you're paying for that. But, you know, this is very deliberate in terms of making you uh, impute a level of luxury to the strap, which I think it does. Okay, so simple uh, symbol there. And this is what it is. So pretty darn good, I have to say, in the days that I have uh, had this on hand. Uh, one of their claims to fame is that it really is no break-in. I would say that it's not absolutely zero break-in time, but after half a day on the wrist, this already feels like it's molded very nicely. All right, quality finishing on the buckle there and great stitching as well. All right, no, no fraying of the holes. It's, it's really pretty darn good as a sailcloth strap. Uh, is it the best in the world? Well, it's definitely the best I've ever seen. All right, so let's just uh, put it on here uh, quickly. And, and, you know, they've provided quick release, which I always appreciate because it really does let you put the watch on quickly. Okay, I'm just going to do it live for you guys here. Okay, and that's, uh, there it is nice and simple. Uh, that's how it looks. I think this pairs very nicely and uh, arguably better than the steel bracelet. Let's just try it on for a wrist shot for you guys now. And there you go, the manufacturer Waldorf Vanguard V8 Dark Slate Tourbillon with uh, the Artem sailcloth strap, 22 millimeters. Great strap, I have to say. Highly recommend it. Check them out if you have time. Uh, if you're an Aussie, well, they are Adelaide based, so you may want to give them a shout out. All right, guys, so there we have it. My thoughts and review uh, of this watch along with the Artem sailcloth strap. Let's flip the camera around now for the wrap up. So there you go guys, my review of the manufacturer Waldorf Vanguard V8. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, does this compare well with the other one or do you think the other one, uh, you know, the Imperial Black was better? Would like to hear your thoughts below. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me and as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.